Night to Know Church family, Pastor Philip here. We are doing a devotionable, a brief devotion for busy people. And uh, I've been assigned and got the opportunity to cover one of those passages that leads up to Easter in the final weeks. If you don't know this, Dr. Cook just finished writing a book on the final week leading up to Jesus' death, burial, and resurrection. And using some of that and his writings and also looking at the passage of Scripture, specifically in Luke 22, I want us to talk about a little bit and look at a little bit deeper into what we see in Peter's denial of Jesus. So let's talk through that story a little bit. First of all, context of who Peter is. We know Peter. Uh, most of us think about Peter being that person who said things and got in trouble for saying those things. We've maybe all been there where we've said something without thinking about it. Uh, Peter is that gregarious guy that says certain things and uh, gets in trouble for him. Well, Peter also says some amazing things. And Jesus acknowledges one of them earlier when he asked the disciples, who do people say that I am? And Jesus uh, actually encourages Peter in what his response was. Peter's response was, you are the Christ. You're the son of the living God. And Jesus' response to that is, upon this, I will build my church. And as believers in that proclamation, when we proclaim and do acknowledge Jesus as our Savior, that makes us part of Jesus' bride. And so that makes the church. And so we have Peter saying that, and then we get to this passage. They're in the upper room. It's Friday evening. And at the end of the supper, Jesus is telling them kind of what's getting ready to happen. And Peter goes, I will never deny you. And we get to that in verse 31 of chapter 22 of Luke. Simon, Simon, behold, Satan demanded to have you, that he might sift you like wheat. But I have prayed for you that your faith may not fail. And when you have turned again, strengthen your brothers. And Peter said to him, Lord, I'm ready to go with you to both prison and to death. And Jesus said, I tell you, Peter, the rooster will not crow this day until you deny me three times that you know me. My kids and I have been talking um, about what being a Pharisee is. Dr. Cook preached on this that pa- this past week out of the passage of, of Luke and talking about sometimes we can feel like that we're kind of untouchable, that we create rules and regulations and think that we can never be ones that actually sin. I think this is a reminder as we look at Peter that we, as good as we might think that we are, we're sinners. And on this earth we will sin uh, ultimately until we get to see Jesus. This is a reminder to us as we see this that all of us have fallen short of the glory of God. Romans 3.23 reminds us of that. And it's interesting, he says all these things and he also is tested. Jesus' prediction does come true. We know that that later that evening, Jesus is um, arrested. Of course, Judas identifies him in the garden. He is arrested and then Peter follows closely behind all the way into the courtyard where they are questioning Jesus. And as he's standing warming his hands by the fire on three different instances, they ask him, do you not know Jesus? Aren't you one of the followers of Jesus, one of his disciples? And each time Peter not just says, oh no, He emphatically says, no, I don't know what you're talking about. Are you crazy? I do not know him. And on the third time, the rooster crows. I personally have chickens at my house, if you don't know that. And most people don't think about this, but roosters actually crow early in the morning when they've been awakened even before the sun comes up. Many times I will get up and go get my coffee early in the morning, 5, 5.30 in the morning. And at that moment, 
the rooster crows. I was thinking about this this morning after I had studied for this and preparing. How many times have I denied Christ? How many times have I hidden my relationship with Christ with the world? I think that's a better question for us. Do we quietly go out through the days hiding who we are as believers? That we know Jesus Christ is our personal Savior, that He died on the cross for our sins. Are we ashamed of Him? It's interesting that we all will do that at some point. We're, we're going to be ashamed. But just like He said that He would pray for Peter, I think Jesus also intercedes on our behalf. He knows that there will be times where we fail, and He shows grace and mercy to us. Remember that as we go forward. There could be times where you have done that, where you have been ashamed, maybe, or not spoken when you needed to speak of Jesus. This is your encouragement this Easter. As we get close to Easter, there is a second chance. Jesus is multiple times given us grace and mercy. So let's not be ashamed of him today. May that reminder, as I think about that rooster crowing even this morning when I woke up, be a reminder that Jesus still does care for me. Just like he brought Peter and used him in a mighty way after this, after Jesus' burial, death, and resurrection, resurrection, Peter was used in amazing ways, and he can use you too.